Colorado High School Activities Association Basketball is on 1010KSIR, KSIR.com, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Tonight from University High School in Greeley, it's a Patriot League clash as the visiting Brush Bee Diggers take on the University Bulldogs. I'm John Beltran. The Bee Diggers have already played one game here in the month of January. That was last night where they lost to the Fort Lupton Blue Devils 53-49, to and that was a painful loss for Brush because in that game, they led by as many as 10 points. They were up by eight at the half, but could not generate much offense in the second half, and Fort Lupton rallied to win by four. Tonight, you're facing a university team that is ranked in the top 10, while the Beakers are two and four. University is sitting at eight and one. The good news for Brush when it comes to university is that Tate Chacon their leading score at 24.9 points a game is unavailable tonight. However, they still have three players averaging double figures. Desmond Williams, Andrew Mendoza, and Cannon Padilla. For the bead diggers, we know that Cesar Hinojos will more than likely pull together his customary double-double. But who will be the second and third players? Braxton Shelton shot pretty well this year. And you have other guys that are certainly capable. Robert Gonzalez was very good off the bench against Fort Morgan in the seven-point loss back in mid-December, which was the final game of the 2021 portion of the schedule. But they're going to need some balance. And with the Bee Diggers' options sometimes limited offensively, as was the case last night with only 49 points, they're going to have to play tremendous defense. That's what they did last night to get out to the lead. But tonight, it's just a matter of keeping that defensive intensity and hopefully breaking the... Boy, if they could break the 50-point mark, that would be a help. Ideally, in high school basketball, if you can score 60 points, at least 60, 15 a quarter, you usually have a shot unless the team you're playing is just going up and down the court. So that's what the bead diggers will need. A nice pace to their game tonight, but not too hectic. University can certainly score, we know that. And this was a school that was pretty good in basketball, but not as good as they've been here this year. The last few years, university's been a force to deal with. And because of that, they're beating teams like the bead diggers who used to defeat University on a regular basis. Starting lineups will be introduced here momentarily. And that's the one thing. You wonder if Brush is going to be a little bit tired after playing last night while University is well rested. We will take a break and we will come back with the starting lineups and tip of tonight's game between Brush and University on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Hi, right, John Beltran back with you from University High School. And Greeley, the starting lineup for the Bee Diggers is as follows. Ivan Cardenas and Mark Lopez in the backcourt along with Braxton Shelton, Cesar Hinojos and Kyle Wellen. As we mentioned, for University, they've got three scores in double figures. Desmond Williams, Andrew Mendoza, and Cannon Padilla. The Bee Digger starting lineup tonight brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go. Check them out today, Equitable Savings and Loan. Once again, Cardenas Lopez, Shelton Wellen, and Hinojos. The Bee Diggers are dressed in their maroon uniforms and... University in their home whites. And the lights are turned off here for the introduction of the starting lineups. I've given you three of those unless they're making any changes. Gage Schmenke is in the starting lineup. He's only a freshman. Along with sophomore Connor Webb. Again, one of those starting for Chacon. Desmond Williams is a junior for University. Five-footed senior number two, Andrew Mendoza. 
Andrew Mendoza is a senior. And Cannon Padilla, excellent baseball player as well, another senior in the starting lineup for the Bulldogs. The opening tip is brought to you by Buildings by Design. When it comes to exper experience, that is, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. Cesar Hinojo's jumping center for Brush. Cannon Padilla for University. A capacity crowd here in Greeley. And the opening tip is controlled by Brush. Here is Mark Lopez on the high left. Swings it cross court to Wellen in the right corner. Wide open, Cadenas three is off the back of the rim. And the rebound is grabbed by Connor Weber of University. There's the outlet to Mendoza. Mendoza will set it up for the Bulldogs. Swings it on the right side to Williams. At the top for Padilla. Left side to Schminke. At the top now, back on the right side is Williams. Cross court to Mendoza in the high left, picked up by Lopez. Looks like a man-to-man, -man, but Hinojo's playing off his defender, or offender. On the high right, Padilla lob down low for Williams. Double team straight away. Three in the air. Weber is up and off to the left. And the rebound and put back is up, and that's missed by Weber. And the ball is loose. It is picked up by Ivan Cadenas, a brush. On the other end, Cadenas, bounce pass. And a high right to Shelton. He traveled. That's the first turnover of the game. And University comes the other way. Big game for Brush considering they're two and four. They don't want to dig themselves too deep a hole in the standings. Weber, right wing three, is off the back of the rim, but the rebound is grabbed by Williams. The B diggers blocked out, didn't grab the rebound though. Padilla in the lane, puts it up, and off the back of the rim from five, and the rebound to Hinojos. That's his first of the game. Hinojos by himself into the front court, swings it to Shelton all the way. He banks and he misses. Shelton tips it up and he missed it again. Hinojos goes up and he misses again in and out. And the rebound to Desmond Williams. The B diggers had several opportunities there and could not score. Williams on the high left dribbles into the paint and he puts it up. Back rim, no, from three feet away. And the rebound to Braxton Shelton. Second rebound. Shelton in the lane all the way. Scoops it up and in and a foul. A layup off the glass for Shelton. And he goes to the line for Brush. And the foul was committed by Andrew Mendoza. Shelton now to shoot the free throw. That's the first basket of the game with 6.28 to go in the opening quarter. Shelton Ben shoots, and that's short. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Hinojos. It will be University basketball. They've had some open looks from three, but have not nailed them. Andrew Mendoza is met by Lopez on the high left. Looked to lob it down low, and the ball nearly tipped away. Taken by Williams on the left baseline against Wellen, dribbling to his right. And Wellen right on top of him. Good defense. Crosses over on Wellen. Pulls up from 14. Yes. Excellent move by Desmond Williams. He's tied the game at two. Six minutes to go in the opening quarter. Yvonne for Brush into the front court. Yvonne on the high left. Maintains the dribble. Swings it right side to Shelton on the right wing now to Kyle Wellen. Behind the three-point line. Well, I'm not sure what to do with it. Takes a dribble along the baseline. Picks up the dribble. Jump pass inside to Cadenas. Banks and scores. Nice cut to the basket by Yvonne. And the B-Diggers up 4-2 to two as he used the glass to score. Mendoza across the timeline for University. Right corner to Weber. Weber against Hinojos. Back to Mendoza. Can't take that three. Padilla, not a schminky. Lob down low to Williams. Williams against Wellen. Backs. And he has a shot partially blocked by Hinojos. Who comes away with the basketball. Hinojos right of the lane. Hinojos swings it to Wellen. Back out to Cadenas and he traveled. Second turnover against Brush University with no miscue so far. With 5.17 to go in the opening quarter. And University with a 4-2 lead. Here come the Bulldogs the other way. Here's Cannon Padilla against Shelton. Swings it right side to Weber. Back out to Mendoza at the top now for Schmicke. Picked up by Cadenas. Dribbles right of the lane. Right corner Mendoza. Three is up and it's off the back of the rim. The one bounce rebound to Padilla. Swings it back out to Desmond Williams. They reset. Williams against Kyle Wellen. He's going to swing it back out to Padilla. Padilla against Shelton. 
Right side to Mendoza. Guarded by Yvonne. Right baseline to Padilla. Little 10-footer is around and no good. And the ball is tipped around. Weber's got it. And his shot is blocked out of there by Nohos. Here is Schmicki. Puts it up and he is fouled as he misses. And the B-Digger foul committed by Ivan Cadenas. That's his first, and Schmenke to the line. And he will shoot two. The first one is in the air, and that is off the back of the rim. They're going deep in a lot of shots in this game. At least in the early going. Second free throw is up, and that one is back rimmed. And the high rebound controlled by Weber, and Weber traveled. First turnover by the Bulldogs. Weber's got four rebounds, though. They can't keep him off the boards. Here come the bead diggers the other way with four and a half to go in the opening quarter. Brush four, University two. Ivan, bounce pass, outside right to Lopez. Now down low to Ivan. He's trapped over there. Left corner, Shelton takes the three, and that's off the front of the rim. And a strong rebound controlled by Desmond Williams, his third. Williams tripped by Enojos. He banks and scores. A beautiful play. He picked his pocket. Sets it on the board at 6-2. to two. Here's Mendoza the other way. Shot blocked in the lane by Enojos, but a foul. As Mendoza missed, somebody got him with a body. Two defenders there. That'll be called on Lopez. And to the line is Andrew Mendoza. The B-Diggers will make four substitutions pretty quickly. Gonzalez, Castro, Caden Schwint. As the free throw is around and good. And Aiden Gutierrez will also check in for the B-Diggers. Second free throws upcoming here for Andrew Mendoza. University yet to make a substitution. They've got six on the bench. Brush six, University three, midway through the opening quarter. The only one staying in the game for Brush, you guessed it, is Hinojos. Enojos, Gutierrez, Castro, Gonzalez, and Schwint for Brush. And I have no idea what's going on here, but now they're sending the teams to the respective benches. There's not an injury or anything to that effect. I have no idea what's going on. Zero at this point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your friendly local community bank serving Wiggins and all surrounding areas, High Plains Bank. You can find out more at highplainsbank.com. That is highplainsbank.com. All right, second free throw coming up. I still don't know what happened. Why the delay? But here comes the second free throw here for Andrew Mendoza. With the B diggers up six to three. All right, give him the ball, ref. Wow. Taking a good two minutes to shoot the second free throw. Mendoza bounces, spins, bends, shoots, scores. Six to four, backcourt pressure being applied. Schwent to Gutierrez underneath his own basket. Now the Bulldogs back off. Gutierrez into the front court, right side to Schwent. Lob inside to Gutierrez. Double teams, got to kick it out somewhere. And he's stripped and fouled. Padilla got him with a hand there. On the hand. Second foul against University. And Gutierrez to throw it in. Looking. He's got Gonzalez wide open. Now he feeds him right baseline. Right corner to Gutierrez. Dribbles to his left. Back out to Hinojos. Lob down low for Castro. He's double teamed. On the outside right to Gutierrez. 3.39 to go. Down low to Gonzalez. And one hook shot is in. He hooked it in off the glass. Robert Gonzalez is now giving the B-Diggers an 8-4 lead. Here's Desmond Williams, right side Mendoza, right corner Padilla. Dribbles to his left, cut off by Gutierrez. At the top now, Mendoza, long three, yes! 
Andrew Mendoza from about 20. Maybe 21. The brush lead down to one, eight to seven. 3.15 to go in the first. Gutierrez in the high left. Swings it in the left corner now for Gonzalez. Baseball pass at the top for Hinojos. On the right wing to Castro. Wide open three. He'll take it. He'll drill it. Caden Castro with a three-pointer. Must have gotten that from the mother. 11 to 7 in favor of the Bee Diggers. The other way, here's Padilla. Right corner pass. Mendoza three is off the back of the rim. And there's the rebound grabbed by Aiden Gutierrez. A brush on the outlet to Hinojos. Crosses the timeline. Hinojos right in the lane. Turning, spinning, shooting. Partially blocked in the lane by Padilla. Padilla's got the basketball. Padilla on the high left. Padilla left in the lane. Dribbling, turning. 15-footer. Yes! That's a beautiful shot by Padilla on the turnaround. 11-9 brush, 2.24 to go, first quarter. Gutierrez on the high right, holding the ball up high. Gutierrez lobs it down low, Hinojos in the lane, turns, dribbles. Caden Schwint, left wing three, that's a terrible miss. That's an air ball, Gutierrez has it, he puts it up and in! Gutierrez off the glass scores. The B-Diggers up by four again, 13-9. Two minutes to go. Here in the first quarter, Schmincke on the outside left against Gonzalez. In the left corner for Weber, guarded by Castro. Swings it back out to Padilla in front of the B-Digger bench in the high left. Looking for a pick, gets it from Williams into the lane. Right wing, Mendoza takes a three, and that's good. You can't leave that guy open. He's got eight points in the first quarter. Rush 13, University 12, with a minute 38 to go in the opening quarter. On the outside left is Gutierrez with a basketball. Looking, still looking. Swings it down low, Castro, left corner, Gonzalez, three is in and out. And a strong rebound into the hands of Desmond Williams of University. With a minute 23 to go in the first. Jump pass is poked away, it's intercepted by Hinojos. Hinojos all the way, will bank and score. Hinojos coast to coast, he's got four. The B digger lead is three, 15 to 12, with a minute 12 to go in the opening quarter. On the high left is Padilla, guarded by Gutierrez. Padilla looking down low. Cross court Mendoza, right wing three, and the game is tied. Why leave him open? He's got 11 points in the first, and he's three out of four from three point range. 15 15. 53 seconds to go in the first. And now we've got a foul. That is Gage Schmincke on that bump. Third team foul. Shelton Lopez, Cardenas, and Wellen back in. Hinojos remains in the game. Arthur Zimmer checks in for University. Three quarters court. Wellen into Lopez. Lopez near the top. Maintains the dribble. Picks up the dribble in the right corner to Wellen. Wellen lobs it inside to Shelton. He dribbles. He hands it off to Hinojos. He goes up and scores. Beautiful pass from Shelton to Hinojos. And says it laid it in. 17-15, B-Diggers, 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Here's Mendoza the other way. Left corner pass, Weber, and he traveled. Weber commits University's third turnover. B-Digger basketball, Wellen to throw it in. Wellen here to Yvonne with 22 seconds to go, crossing midcourt. Yvonne maintains the dribble with 17. Still barely across the timeline. Right side to Wellen with 14. Dribbles right baseline. Don't have to rush it. Jump pass is poked away by Padilla out of bounds. Oh, they're going to say it went off of Brush. I thought Padilla might have touched it. Instead, it's a B-digger turnover, but Wellen really rushed things there. That's four turnovers for Brush. And now to throw it in will be Arthur Zimmer with 8.8 .8 seconds to go. There's the pass into Williams against Wellen. On the outside right, crosses over 16-footer straight away. Yes, and that's going to be it for the end of the first quarter here with a game tied at 17. We're back in one minute on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's begin the second quarter. The B-Diggers and University Bulldogs are tied at 17. And for Brush, it'll be Wellen, Shelton, Lopez, Cadenas, and Hinojos. It is Weber along with Chase Heck into the game for the first time. Mendoza, Zimmer, and Padilla with the basketball. Now to Mendoza on the high right. Swings it right baseline. Padilla, a little 10-footer is going to be an air ball, and it's into the hands of Kyle Wellen. Wellen will take it across the timeline at the top. Wellen straight away right side to Ivan. Ivan in the right corner low, uh, to Shelton. Swings it left corner. Wellen takes the three, and that is in and out and in. 
Kyle Wellen with a three. And the Bean Diggers are back on top. It's 20 to 17. 30 seconds into the second. On the high right with a basketball is Weber. Now straight away to Padilla against Shelton. Right side to Heck in the right corner. Wide open Weber, yes. Why are they not covering these guys? They're good shooters. We're tied at 20. Brush has either led most of the way or been tied. Here's Shelton back on the high right to Lopez. Takes a couple of dribbles. Cross court to Cadenas. Left corner for Wellen. Wellen looking down low. Swings it at the top for Lopez against Mendoza. Picks up his dribble. Left side to Wellen. Wellen looking. Back out to Shelton. Shelton with a left-handed dribble. Back to his right. Baseball pass is intercepted by Mendoza. Mendoza all the way is bumped, but no whistle. He misses. And the rebound to Lopez. Good defense here by Shelton after the miscue. He no holds the other way. Right corner, Shelton. He'll take the three. Yes! Braxton Shelton uh, now has five points. And the B-Digger lead is 23-20. to 6.26 to go before the break. Mendoza with the basketball on the left side to Padilla. Back at the top to Weber. Weber cross court to Zimmer. Left corner, Padilla. Three in the air, and that is in and out. But the rebound is controlled by Zimmer. Feeds it inside. Padilla scoops it up and in. Nice pass there by Zimmer. Rush 23, University 22. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. Lopez the other way for Brush, looking down low. Bounce pass at the top for Wellen. Kyle Wellen left side to Shelton off the chest pass. Dribbles to his right, picks up the dribble. On the left wing to Yvonne. Guiding us to his right, dribbles towards the head of the three-point circle. Right side to Wellen. Wellen guarded by Heck. In the right corner to Lopez, picked up by Mendoza with a left-handed dribble. Inside pass to Shelton, back out to Lopez. Left-handed dribble inside, Hinojos, defender in the air, Banks misses. Hinojos goes back up and off the back of the rim and in! Hinojos stayed with that when he scores. Eight points and four rebounds for Cesar. Rush 25, University 22. 5.23 to go before the break. Padilla right of the paint in the right corner for Mendoza. Mendoza lobs it back out to Weber. Cross court to Heck. In the left corner, Padilla penetrates left baseline. Leans, banks, misses. Rebound Weber up and in from two feet away. B Diggers did not block out. Five points and five rebounds for Weber. Here's Cadenas. Bounce pass to Shelton. Reverse layup is up and missed. Rebound Enojos. Enojos looked like he was fouled. He got the ball right back. Enojos in the lane. He's got to kick it back out. Enojos over to Shelton. Left side to Yvonne. Yvonne into the paint. Yvonne, oh, he traveled. It'll be University basketball looking for the lead. Back into the game is Desmond Williams. Boy, excellent basketball game so far. Limited amount of turnovers. The Bay Diggers with a 25-24 lead with 4.44 to go in the second. Here is Mendoza. Jump pass right side to Williams against Wellen. Starts his drive to the basket. Shelton right there. Leans, banks, and scores. Boy, nothing you can do against Williams. That's a strong move. And University's on top. 26-25. Four and a half to go before halftime. On the high left with the basketball is Yvonne. Back out to Wellen. Wellen cross court to Shelton. Very few free throws taken in this game. The B diggers only have one free throw attempted. Bounce pass is an errant one there by Cadenas. And a timeout is called by University as Williams went to the floor. Turnover for Brush is their seventh. University's attempted four free throws. That's why the pace of this game is frantic. Very few fouls. Brush is down by one. University is loaded offensively, even without Chacon. So far, Mendoza leads with 11 points on the opening quarter. Hinojos has eight for Brush. Shelton with five. That's pretty much the standard this season with Hinojos at number one and Shelton at number two with the scoring leaders for the Bee Diggers. Williams, Heck, Mendoza, Zimmer, and Padilla for University. Padilla inbounds to Heck, and now here is Padilla. Padilla against Shelton on the high right. Looking down low in the right corner for Heck. Lobs it inside to Williams. Double team, but he goes up and he misses, but he's fouled. Williams just too big, and he's too strong. Foul was committed by Hinojos. I didn't see the contact there. 
Yeah, that did not look like much contact there. Free throw by Williams is in the air, and that one is in. Williams now with seven, and the lead is two for University with an even four minutes to go, second quarter. 27 25. 27 25 still missed, and Enojos grabs the rebound and falls, but the ball gets into the hands of Wellen. Right baseline, here is Shelton. Shelton is on the baseline. Turnover for Brush. Tried to drive towards that baseline or end line. And he stepped on the line with his right foot. Eight turnovers for the Bee Diggers, three for the Bulldogs. Mendoza into the front court for University. Picked up by Mark Lopez in the high right. Gets a pick from Williams at the top. Bounce pass to Williams, fakes it. And then a jump pass, left corner, Zimmer three is no good. Hinojos grabs his seventh rebound. Hinojos to Lopez across the timeline, inside to Wellen, right corner to Shelton. Penetrates, cut off over there by Zimmer, bounce pass to Hinojos. Hinojos turns, banks and misses. And the rebound to Chase Seconds first. Here is Williams, right of the lane. Williams all the way, scoops it up and in off the glass. Williams now with nine timeout B diggers, 30 second timeout. Brought to you by Greg Mon at State Farm Insurance, Home Auto Life and Health. Greg Mon is here for you and your family. 842 4555. Well, oh, Brush is right in this game against one of the top teams in the state. But they're down 29 25 with 311 to go before halftime. Brush wrestling tomorrow night. In Fort Morgan, the triple door against the Wiggins Tigers and the Fort Morgan Mustangs starts at 5.30. It'll be Brush and Wiggins, followed by Wiggins and Fort Morgan and Brush and Fort Morgan. Wallen to throw it in. And he gets it into Yvonne. Yvonne at the top, right side to Shelton with a left-handed dribble. Shelton bounce pass inside. He knows banks and scores. What a beautiful look by Braxton Shelton. Nice floor game by him. 10.7 rebounds for he knows. Might get a double-double in the opening half. 29-27 University. Williams right in the paint. Double team. Jump pass inside. Zimmer is blocked from behind, but a foul. That's going to be the second on Hinojos. Nope. They're going to say it's Yvonne instead. Yeah, he was there too. Thank goodness, that changes everything. And here's Gutierrez about to check in after the free throw. Arthur Zimmer will attempt the first free throw. It's good. University leads by three. James Sir. James Sir is in for University. Second free throw up coming for a four-point lead. Zimmer bends, shoots, and connects. 31-27. The Bulldogs lead with 2.47 to go, and Shelton will take it into the front court. Shelton for Brush. Towards the top, bounce pass on the outside right to Gutierrez. Just holding the ball. Now Hinojos right baseline penetrates. He's cut off by Padilla. Jump pass inside. is intercepted by Williams. It's a three on three. Williams bounce pass to Mendoza. Right of the lane. Inside to serve. Blocked by Hinojos and grabbed by Kyle Wellen. Here comes Wellen. Over to Lopez. Left wing three is off the back of the rim. Gage Mickey has the rebound for University. Still 31-27. Long pass intercepted by Hinojos. He knows with a four on two right in the lane. He's stripped by Williams and it's out of bounds off Williams. And Sessa, I don't know if he's, Sessa's played the whole first half. Let's see if he's going to be taken out in favor of Gonzalez. Because he looks pretty gassed right now. Nope. It's going to be Lopez instead. With two minutes to go before halftime. And Shelton will throw it in. Shelton looking, still looking. Down low to Gonzalez. Gonzalez turns. Jump pass straight away to Wellen. Takes a dribble. Left wing Gutierrez. Fakes the three. Williams picks him up. Left of the lane. Left corner for Shelton. Dribbles to his right. 
Williams right on top of him. Now to Wellen just beyond midcourt. Wellen with a minute 47 to go. Right wing three. Enojo's good. Cesar can shoot it from anywhere. Seven points in the quarter. 13 in the game. University 31, brush 30. A minute 37 to go. Second quarter. Here's Mendoza back out to Sir on the high right. Sir straight away to Padilla, guarded by Shelton. Lobs it on the right wing. Here is Sir against Enojos. Back out to Williams, who's a major threat. Williams actually backpedals, gets a pick from Sir. Crosses over, jump pass, left corner for Padilla. Penetrates left baseline, and then he was on the end line. He thought he was fouled. Watch out, he's close to a technical. B-Diggers will take it to Padilla. Says maybe one more thing. Nonetheless, B-Digger basketball. Both of these teams went deep into the playoffs. The B-Diggers in football to the state championship game, University, to the semifinals where they lost to Eaton. B-Diggers can take the lead. Gonzalez left baseline. He's harassed over there. He's got to get rid of it. Does to Wellen on the left wing. Wellen with a minute to go. The B-Diggers down by one. And then his pass is intercepted by Schmincke. University the other way. Schmincke at the top fakes the three. Left wing Williams. Parking lot three is off the bottom of the net. Schmincke tries to save it in and does to Sir. Sir in the lane puts it up and misses. Partially blocked by Enojos. Enojos with his eighth rebound to Shelton all the way. Banks and he misses. Wellen's got it for Brush. Inside to Enojos. He puts it up and that's short. Enojos again. Banks and scores. Oh man. Cesar is too good. He is simply too good. The Bead Diggers lead 32 31. 22 seconds to go, second quarter. University working for the last shot. Mendoza just across midcourt. Swings it out to Williams just beyond the timeline. Williams looking up at the clock with 10 seconds to go. With eight, right of the lane. Right corner, Mendoza with six. Backs up right wing three. Is good. Man, this guy's amazing. Mendoza nails it. Now Shelton at half court puts it up, and it's off the top of the backboard. And that is the end of the opening half. Wow. What a half that was. Up and down the floor. With the score. University 34. Brush 32. It's a three-minute break on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back from University High School in Greeley. Let's begin the third quarter. The Bee Diggers trail 34-32. Lopez to throw it in out there with Kaidana, Shelton, Enoholz, and Wellen. It's Mendoza, Weber, Williams, Padilla, and Gage Schmincke for University. And here is Cardenas. Back near the top to Shelton. Looking left side to Cardenas. Fakes the three. Dribbles right into Williams. Maintains the dribble. In the left corner to Wellen. Lob down low for Shelton. He's double teamed. Dribbles. Bounce pass into Cardenas. Stripped from behind by Padilla. The B-Diggers turn it over for the 11th time. And here's Mendoza straight away. Not picked up. Now he swings it over to Williams. Left side three. Back of the rim. No. Lopez grabs his second rebound for Brush. Lopez at the top of the basketball. Dribbles into the lane. Jump pass to Shelton in the right corner. Now to Cardenas, wide open three, yes. Straight away, Ivan with a triple. He's got five, the Bay Diggers lead 35-34. 7-12 to go in the third. On the outside right is Padilla, guarded by Shelton. Holds the ball up high, cross court to Schmincke. Schmincke dribbles to his left, jump pass in the left corner for Mendoza. Lopez is right there, dribbles to his right in the lane, scoops it up, threw up an air ball. That should have been a traveling violation, yeah. Yeah, you can't grab your own miss if it's, a, if it's an air ball. But anyway, he was on the baseline. And Lopez for Brush will set up the play. Lopez at the top. Left-handed dribble. Swings it to Enojos. Left baseline. Dribbles. Turns. Leans. Back out to Lopez. Straight away to Yvonne. Right wing to Wellen. Wellen with a basketball. Wellen dribbles against Williams all the way. Leans. Puts it up. Partially blocked. By Weber, Williams away with the basketball. Williams on the outside right. Left wing, Schmicky wide open three. Good. By himself and University has reclaimed the advantage. 37-35, 6.20 to go in the third. Here is Lopez at the top over to Wellen. Wellen on the high left with the basketball. Shelton right side. Dribbles into the paint. 
Hands it off to Hinojos. Turns. Kicks it back out to Icardenas. On the right side, Lopez, three, is off the front of the rim. And Schmincke grabs the rebound for the Bulldogs. That's his third. Schmincke into the front court. Left side, Mendoza. He'll take the three. That's front rim, no. But Schmincke grabs the rebound. Back out to Padilla. Padilla pulls up 14-footer. Off to the right. Hinojos grabs his 10th rebound. Hinojos hands it off to Wellen. 5.42 to go in the third. University 37, brush 35. Cardenas on the outside left, over to Shelton. Shelton at the free throw line, left of the paint. Now to Cardenas in the left corner against Weber. Dribbles left baseline, cut off by Weber. Bounce pass to Hinojos on the left wing. Baseball pass, right corner to Shelton. Guarded by Schmenke. Left-handed dribble, bounce pass to Hinojos. Knocked away, tries to save it in, and does. It's off of Schmenke out of bounds. B-Diggers retain possession. Three-quarters court, Shelton to throw it in. Bounce pass. Over to Yvonne. Yvonne on the right wing to Shelton. Shelton into the paint. Shelton jump pass. Left corner, Cardenas back out to Wellen. Wellen on the high left for the basketball. 5.03 to go. In the third quarter, the B-Diggers trail by two. Bounce pass from Shelton to Lopez at the head of the three-point circle. Left wing to Cardenas, guarded by Weber. Yvonne swings it back out to Hinojos. Holds the ball up high. Dribbles left of the lane. All the way off the glass and he traveled. Prior to that, he trade missed it anyway. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Fort Morgan, Sterling, Human, Holyoke. That is Premier Farm Credit. 4.43 remaining third quarter. University 37, brush 35. Mendoza right wing, overhead pass, cross court taken by Weber on the left wing. He'll fake the three, he'll take the three, he'll miss the three. Into the hands of Weber, scoops it up and he missed it. And the rebound to Mark Lopez had an easy shot, but could not convert. Here comes Brush on the outside right is Cardenas. Cardenas against Mendoza, stripped by Mendoza. He dribbled it right into him. Can't do that. The B-Diggers now have 13 turnovers. Mendoza baseball pass to Weber. Missed an easy shot. Weber gets it back, and he stripped away. Wellen has got it. Wellen for Brush. Over to Shelton. Bounce pass to Wellen. Left. Wing in the corner now for Lopez. Back out to Shelton. Underhand pass straight away to Cardenas. Left corner, Lopez. Wide open three is up, and that is very short. Rebound, Cardenas inside to Hinojos. Banks and scores. Beautiful look by Yvonne. That is a gorgeous look. Hinojos now with 17. Tied at 37. 3.40 to go in the third. Left of the lane, Padilla. The left corner for Weber. Lobs at free throw line for Padilla. Swings it cross court to Mendoza. Mendoza with a dribble, backs up right wing three. That's off the back of the rim. Rebound, Williams, bang, scores, and a foul on Wellen. You got to block him out better than that. Wellen commits the foul, and to the line is Desmond Williams, who's got 11 in the game. And now, Caden Moriarty checks in for the first time. Wellen with his first. More importantly, Williams to the stripe to attempt a free throw. Williams spins, shoots, and connects. He's got 12. University 40, brush 37. 325 to go in the third. Shelton, free throw line, right wing to Moriarty. Near that right corner, here's Gutierrez dribbling to his left. Gutierrez looks for Hinojos, feeds Shelton in the right corner. Shelton to his left, picks up the dribble, overhead pass to Moriarty straight away. Moriarty bounce pass to Shelton on the outside right. Shelton dribbles towards the top, picks up the dribble. Needs some help. Inside to Moriarty, dribbles, puts it up, and he's fouled as he misses. Nice cut by k Dog, and he was hacked in the act. He will shoot two. Desmond Williams commits the foul. That's his first. Moriarty trying to make an impact here. With just over three minutes to go in the third. Free throw is a line drive and he back rimmed it. Second free throw is upcoming for Caden Moriarty. B&B appliance and repair from refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between. Missed. Hinojos grabs it, banks and scores. B&B appliance in Fort Morgan. Nice job by Hinojos. Hinojos now with 19 points and 11 rebounds. 
The Bean Diggers trail by one. Right corner, Weber with the basketball. 2.45 to go third quarter. Lob right in the lane to Williams. He turns. He leans. He forces it up and misses. Got nothing but glass. Shelton comes away with a basketball. Shelton across the timeline. Baseball pass to Lopez in the right wing. In the left corner, Gutierrez takes the three, and that's off the back of the rim. Padilla grabs the rebound for University is third. Padilla just across the timeline. 2.22 to go, third quarter. University 40, brush 39. Right corner, Weber, three-pointer is no good. Hinojos with his 12th rebound of the game. Long pass to K-Dog all the way. Reverse layup is partially blocked. Mendoza's got it for University. Long pass to Padilla. Defender in the air and a foul as Shelton commits the foul on Padilla. Padilla goes down hard. And hopefully he's okay. He came down on him. Padilla to the line. Good play by Shelton. And Braxton showing tremendous sportsmanship, making sure that Padilla's okay, which is the way it should be done anyway. And now two free throws here for Cannon Padilla. Caden Castro will check in. He will shoot a deuce with 2.06 to go in the third. The first free throw from Padilla is up, and that one is off to the left. University attempted eight free throws in the first half. Lopez is now out for Castro. Castro we'll did hit a three in the opening half. Second free throw is upcoming for Padilla. That one is up and that one is in. The Bulldogs with the lead, 41 to 39. Two minutes to go before the break. Here is Aiden Gutierrez at the top of the basketball. Or before the end of the third quarter. That's the third quarter break, not the halftime break. Shelton, now we have an illegal screen away from the basketball. And that's going to be called on Enojos. That'll be a second. The Bay Diggers have committed 14 turnovers. Four here in the quarter with a minute 49 to go in the third. University leads by a deuce. On the high left, Williams with the basketball against K-Dog. Dribbles into the paint, turns, leans. Oh, it looked like he traveled, no whistle. Mendoza now dribbles into the paint, forces up a shot, and he missed it. And the ball is tipped around into the hands of K-Dog. Man, he corralled that like a precious basketball. Here's Hinojos at the top, jump pass inside. Intended for Castro off Williams out of bounds. B-Diggers have it with a minute 28 to go in the third. Heck of a basketball game. Straight up here at 8 o'clock. This is 10-10 KSIR. Brush, Fort Morgan, Weldona. Bounce pass to the cutting. Hinojos banks and scores. That was a feed by Braxton Shelton. And Hinojos now has 21. And we're tied at 41. A minute 19 to go in the third quarter. Padilla the other way for University. Right side chest pass to Weber. Guarded by Castro. At the top for Padilla. The left corner for Mendoza. Tried to save it in. Aaron pass. Padilla does have it at the free throw line. Left wing to Mendoza. Nearly lost to Gutierrez there. Lob down low for Williams. Turns. Banks. And a foul as he missed. Wow. You got to be kidding me. I mean, that was really good defense. They're going to call it on k Dog with a push. Desmond Williams to the line. Huh. That was a little fishy. With 61 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And Desmond Williams, who's got 12 points in the game, will try to make it 13. And does. Nothing but string. Four in the quarter. University 42, brush 41. This one... Man, the way it's being played, it could go down to the wire. B-Diggers lost last night 53-49 in Fort Lupton. This team's even better. Second free throw is in. It rattles home. Here comes Aiden Gutierrez to engineer the offense for Brush. Gutierrez with a left-handed dribble. Crosses over. Beats Mendoza. Chest pass left side to Shelton on the left wing. Back out to Gutierrez, 47 seconds to go. Right wing to Hinojos. Hinojos dribbles to his right. Right baseline, right corner for Castro. Ball take that three. Cross court pass to Shelton on the left wing. Shelton, 37 seconds to go. In the left corner for K-Dog. Lob down low for Castro. Feeds to Hinojos and he scores off the glass. Caden Castro to Hinojos. 
Hinojos with 23 in the game, eight in the quarter, tied at 43. 23 seconds to go as Hinojos went glass. Mendoza working for the final shot for University in the third. Bounce pass and a high right to Padilla. Looks up at the clock with 13 seconds to go. Padilla against Shelton just beyond the timeline. Picks up the dribble. Right side to Mendoza with eight. Back out to Padilla with six. Padilla straight away. Shelton right on top of him. Now to Mendoza with three. Right wing dribbles into the lane all the way off the glass. And no, but a foul. Oh, that was a critical foul against Cesar. That's going to be his third if my scoring is correct here. As he missed the shot. Check it, his second, thank goodness. Yeah, I might have marked another foul. That's why I said, if my score is correct. And now Mendoza, who scored 14 points in the opening half, is at the line with eight-tenths of a second to go. The free throw is good. He now has 15 in the game. Second free throw is upcoming for Mendoza. That one is up. That is in. Let's see the B diggers get off a desperation shot. It's stolen. Weber to throw it up. And that's an air ball off the steal. As Brush committed another turnover there. We have played three quarters in Greeley with the score. University 45, Brush 43. It's a one minute break on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's begin the fourth quarter. Arthur Zimmer into the game for University. Gets it in. They lead the Bee Diggers 45-33 with Mendoza, Schminke, Padilla, and Desmond Williams. Shelton right there on defense. Now to Williams. Right of the lane against Hinojo's left corner. Schminke three, and that's good. Oh, boy. The Bee Diggers now trail by five, 48-43. It's Shelton Hinojos, Cardenas Lopez with the ball, and Wellen. Shelton straight away. Fakes a three. Dribbles into the paint. That's a foul. A foul on Zimmer, who bumps Shelton. That's his first. I want to say a special hello to my great friend, Angie Hayes. Unfortunately, she's battling uh, neck and uh, spinal injuries. But we wish and pray for a very quick recovery. A huge B-Digger fan, the aunt of Braxton Shelton. So, Angie, I hope you're doing well under the circumstances. Here's Hinojos into the paint. Swings at right corner for Lopez. Back out to Shelton. Fakes the three. Dribbles into the lane. His shot is blocked, but his ball is tipped around into the hands of Cadenas. Over to Hinojos. Hop step puts it up, and I think he traveled. He did. Yep. That's a good call. 16 turnovers. Four brush. University only with five. We have seven minutes to go in the game. University leads by five. Mendoza in the high right against Lopez. In the right corner, Padilla fakes the three. Shelton right there. Lob down low for Williams. And it's poked away by Nohos off a of brush. Out of bounds, University basketball. I mean, the B-Diggers are playing a good game tonight. Again, the turnovers are a little bit of an issue. They've got 11 more than University. But this University team is 8-1. and one. The B-Diggers only 2-4 and four going in. Mendoza between his legs against Lopez. Off the foot of Lopez. Picked up by Padilla in the lane. Leans, banks, and scores over Shelton. Padilla from about 10 feet away. He's got seven points in the game. The Bulldogs are now on a 7-0 run. Six and a half to go. University 50. Brush 43. The B-Diggers need a bucket desperately. Back on the high right. Dribbling towards the top is Shelton. Picks up the dribble. Swings it left side to Ivan Cadenas. Looking for a pick. Back out near the B-Digger bench to Wellen. Dribbles left baseline. Leans. Bounce pass cross court to Shelton. Right of the lane. Shelton turns. Leans. Blocked out of there. Picked up by Enoholz. Enoholz banks and scores. Enoholz with a loose change. 25 in the game along with 13 rebounds for Enoholz. Six minutes to go. It's a five-point lead for University. Leaning, shooting, and missing off to the right is Padilla. Hinojos with his 14th rebound. Out of the pack is Hinojos. Middle of the lane. All the way. Left-handed layup. Oh, he missed an easy one. And the rebound to Arthur Zimmer. On the outlet pass to Williams. It's a one-on-two. Williams leans, shoots, and off to the right. Man, he bumped Yvonne. And now... What? That can't be a foul on Yvonne. That's on Williams. I think... Wow, I guess Lopez with a bump. That's not a smart foul. He wasn't even part of the play. 
That's a critical call against Prush. Schmenke to throw it in. Looking for the cutter. Lobs it on the outside right to Williams. Dribbles to his left. Gets a pick from Padilla. Spinning on Shelton, but Shelton maintaining his defense. In the left corner to Mendoza. They've held him down pretty well here since the opening quarter. Lob down low for Schmenke. And the ball is wrestled away by Wellen. Wellen with a steal. Godinus the other way. Godinus at the top. Left of the lane. Bounce pass to Lopez. Lopez pulls up little runners up and no good from about six feet away. Mendoza's got it. Lopez has been stone cold in this game. There's a long pass. Padilla left corner three. And that's off to the right. And the ball is volleyballed into the hands of Mark Lopez. His fourth. Lopez bounce pass to Shelton. Dribbles right baseline. Little eight footer and too strong. Rebound. Uh, there's going to be a tie up between Enojos and Williams. Possession arrow, brush. Five minutes to go in the game. University 50, brush 45. Lopez to trigger it in to the left of the basket of the offensive end. University went on a 7 0 run. In doing no host near the right baseline. Back out to Wellen. Wellen feeds Lopez in the right wing. Lopez with the left handed dribble straight away now to Wellen. Wellen guarded by Schminke with 4.47 to go. And we've got an offensive foul. I think they might have called it on Hinojos. It's either Hinojos or Lopez. It's going to be Lopez, an illegal screen. It's also a turnover. Rush has committed 17 turnovers in the game. Yeah, that's the difference right now. That's just too bad. That is too bad. Robert Gonzalez into the game for Brush. 4.48 to go. Still plenty of time with Brush down by five. Cannon Padilla picked up by Shelton. Swings it on the left side over to Schmenke. Schmenke looking down low. Dribbles into the lane. Schmenke leans. Banks misses. Got nothing but glass. And the rebound to Wellen. As Schmenke goes down hard. Wellen lost a basketball. Taken by Williams. Williams all the way. Banks and scores. Man, you can't commit a turnover like that. Timeout brush. Oh. The B diggers now face their biggest deficit of seven. Should have gotten rid of the ball and he had his pocket picked. 52-45 with 4.23 to go in the game. And that's really the difference. Six turnovers for University. The B diggers have 18. Other than that, Brush has played a pretty good game. Against a team looking for their ninth win in 10 opportunities. We'll reset the lineups here momentarily. Tom out brought to you by Greg Mon at State Farm Insurance. Yeah, that one certainly does hurt. Morgan Community College is here to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. Morgan Community College. Zimmer Mendoza, Schminke, Padilla, and Desmond Williams for university. The Bay Diggers now have K-Dog back in the game. That's Caden Moriarty, Inojos, Shelton, Gonzalez, and Ivan Cadenas. Yeah, when you give a score update, buddy, you don't give the, the lower score first. Oh, just the, I'm giving the PA guy a flag over there. Here's Shelton at the free throw line. 15-footer, back-rimmed it. Rebound to Inojo, scoops it up and in! Sasa with another strong rebound. He's got 27 points and 15 rebounds in the game. Brush to within five, under four minutes to go. University 52, Brush 47. Mendoza between his legs. Looking, still looking. Had the ball stripped and got it back. Over to Padilla. In the left corner for Schmenke against Gonzalez. Lobs it left base on for Williams. Dribbles, swings it back out. Straight away, Mendoza three. And that's a killer. He made it. Mendoza did it again, holding the three fingers up high. And Andrew Mendoza now has 19 in the game. And the B-Diggers down by eight. Here's k Dog left baseline, spinning, turning. Bounce pass to Shelton. Shelton had the ball stripped away. And Cannon Padilla's got it. University can go up by double digits. On the left wing, Mendoza, another three, and that's short. And Sessad grabs his 16th rebound of the game. 
Sessa, middle of the lane, swings it right corner. Here is Ivan, starts a drive to the basket, bounce pass to Enojos. Defenders in the air, puts it up bottom of the rim. Enojos again, left hand, missed it. Enojos has it again, and he's fouled. Wow. That's now 17, make it 18 rebounds for Enojos. This guy's a machine. Padilla commits his second foul. Yeah, you can't take Sessit out of the game. Down low to Gonzalez, hooks and scores off the glass there for Robert Gonzalez. But again, brushes down by six and not a lot of time left. 2.56 to go. 55-49 on the left wing. Zimmer dribbles left baseline. Cut off. Left wing three. Schminke is up and that is around and no good. Sessa grabs his 19th rebound. Enojos can draw the B-diggers to within four. Enojos all the way. He's fouled on the floor. That will be the 14th foul. Strong drive to the basket. The foul was committed by Desmond Williams. That's his second. Well, you got to love Rush's effort today. Gutierrez is in for Cadenas. 55-49. What did I mention at the beginning? Got to break 60 points. B-diggers are probably going to fall short of that. Gutierrez lobs it into K-Dog. He goes up and he's fouled as he misses. They missed an assignment defensively between Mendoza and Padilla. But he's fouled and he goes to the line. The foul is on Mendoza. That's his second Problem with the B diggers, they have not made a free throw in this game yet. Oh, out of three. Shelton missed one in the opening quarter and Moriarty two in the third. Free throw is up and he missed that. Not even close. Way off to the right. Second free throw is upcoming. To make this a five point game, that is up and that's good. University 55, brush 50. Still got a shot here with 2.34 to go. In the game, Schmenke, left side to Mendoza, in no hurry to shoot. Baseball pass right side to Weber in the right corner for Schmenke. Dribbles right of the lane, jump pass, left wing to Williams. Williams dribbles the ball, looks up at the clock with 2.19 to go in the game. Williams against K-Dog. The B-Diggers have seven fouls committed in the second half. University with five. They're going to have to start fouling. Schmenke back on the high right to Weber. 2.06 to go in the right corner to Schmicky. Dribbles right baseline. And now he's double teamed. Swings it back out over to Padilla. Cross court to Williams. Under two minutes to go. Williams a drive. He leans. Blocked by Moriarty. And who's got it? It is Cesar Hinojos. That's going to be his 20th. Inside Gonzalez scoops it up and he missed it. Goes back up and around and good. Gonzalez scores. And the B-Diggers draw the within three. They were down by eight. 55-52, and we've got a foul on Gonzalez. This will be a one-and-one. One. Schmenke will go to the stripe. Man, what a game by the B-Diggers. With a minute 38 to go. Now let's see if he can miss. 98 seconds to go. University 55, brush 52. Spinning, shooting. And missing back rim, and Enojos grabs his 22nd rebound. Long pass to Shelton. He banks, and he scores! Shelton scores, and the B-Diggers to within one! 55-54. A minute 24 to go in the game. Rush looked like they were out of it moments ago. But now they're down by one. Here is Schminke, and he was fouled by Gonzalez. That's a good call. Or did they call a timeout? Yep. He did bump him, but they call a timeout. No foul. University called it right before the contact with a minute 18 remaining. What a game. Yeah, my buddy Evan James knows. When you give a score, you give the high score first. You don't say, girls game, brush 29, University 46. No, come on. The, the, the higher number is always first, all right? And an expert like Evan James knows that. He's not the PA tonight, but he, uh, he's done plenty of PA as a senior at Brush High School. And, of course, my uh, partner during the softball season for the last few seasons, 55-54 University, 78 seconds to go in the game. We'll reset the lineup for each team. Well, I have to assume the B-Diggers played better tonight. 
because last night they blew a 10-point lead against Fort Lupton and lost the game 53-49. He's going to do it again. Yep. 46-32 University girls win the game even though he said 32-46, to but enough of that. Schminke, Mendoza, Weber, Williams, and Weber. Or check that, that's Padilla, I should say. The inbounds pass to Weber against Hinojos. Back out to Mendoza. And the clock hasn't even started. The clock hasn't started. Now it started. What are they doing without the clock up there? Here's Mendoza with a left-handed dribble. Swings it left side to Williams. Left of the lane. Left corner for Schminke. Dribbles to his right. Back out to Mendoza. Mendoza dribbles by Gutierrez. Left of the lane. B-Diggers are going to have to have a steal or a foul. Mendoza maintains the dribble. Nearly a strip. Mendoza bounce pass. Left corner for Schminke. 54 seconds to go. Dribbles left baseline. He's cut off over there. And there is a timeout called by University with 51.4 seconds to go. But you can't fall asleep at the scores table. They played five or six seconds of basketball. The clock wasn't even moving. I mean, this is a critical juncture in the game. This is not the time to fall asleep. And it's not easy, by the way. I've kept time. That's not that easy. So I get it. I certainly get it. So here we go. University basketball once again. They're going to try to do everything. They're not going to dribble out the clock. Brush is going to do something to either force a turnover or foul. Gonzalez, Hinojo, Shelton, k Dog, and Aiden Gutierrez. 55-54 University. 51.4 seconds to go in the front court. Underneath the basket. Schmenke to throw it in. He lobs it left of the lane for Williams against k Dog. Now back out to Weber. Weber against Hinojos. Hinojos nearly committed a foul. Hands it off to Mendoza. 43 seconds to go. Mendoza, an excellent free throw shooter. Maintains the dribble with 39. And Gutierrez nearly with a steal. But a foul at midcourt. Oh, Aiden nearly came up with a steal. But got a piece of the wrist. Gutierrez with his first 19 foul. Mendoza's a sharpshooter tonight. He's got 19 points, four to four for the line. He has nailed five three-pointers. The free throw is up, and that is around and off to the right. Hinojos grabs another rebound, 23 unofficially. Hinojos on the high right, 33 seconds to go. Right of the lane, spins, turns. Swings it cross court to Gutierrez. 28 seconds to go. Dribbles to his right. Gutierrez in the lane. Hooks it up and it's short. Oh, and the rebound to Weber. And Weber's tied up by K Dog. Possession Arrow University. Oh, it was sitting on the lip of the rim. Oh, a little bit more English, and the B Diggers would have taken the lead. But it is a tie up, no foul. 22.1 to go. What a game. In Greeley, the B-Diggers looking to pull off the upset. Schmenke to trigger it in. In the backcourt, Gonzalez right on top of him. Schmenke looking. Lobs it! Intercepted by k Dog. Down low for Gonzalez and had a shot blocked. It's out of bounds off of University. University committing only their second turnover. 18 seconds to go. Their second turnover of the half. Just an errant pass. k Dog fed Gonzalez. And then it was knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. The B-Diggers will have a final shot here. Well, maybe more than one final shot. Trying to rally from an eight-point deficit here in the fourth. University 55, Brush 54. As the timeout was called. Man, it doesn't get much better than this on a Tuesday night. What is going to happen here? We will see. Well, I'm going to tell you who they're going to go to. That would be Sesson. This guy has had a game for the ages. 27 points and 23 rebounds unofficially. University playing their first game of the 22 portion of the calendar. The B-Diggers just played last night. Weber, Williams, Padilla, Mendoza, and Schmenke for University. The B-Diggers with Shelton, Hinojos, Gonzalez, K-Dog, 
That's Caden Moriarty and the inbounds pass for Aiden Gutierrez. Schmenke is going to be right there holding his hands high. Wayne Bach has called out play instructions. Gutierrez looking for a cutter. They might have to call another time. There's the feed to Shelton. Inside, Banks and scores! Shelton to the basket. The B Diggers have the lead. 56-55, backcourt pressure. Here's Schmicky, midcourt with nine seconds to go. Weber now right baseline with seven against Enojos. And we've got a tie-up. Enojos tied up Weber. Possession arrow brush with 5.3 seconds to go. The possession arrow goes to the B Diggers. We're going to... See if the B-Diggers can pull this off here. They've got the ball, 5.3 to go. Shelton is at the go-ahead bucket off the inbounder from Aiden Gutierrez. And for Braxton Shelton tonight, he's got nine points. What a play by Enojos. Weber was trying to force his way to the basket, and he got all ball, and it was a tie-up because... The ball was stuck between Enojos and Weber. That's an automatic tie-up. And the possession arrow pointing to the B-Diggers. So here we go. With backcourt pressure applied by University. They're going to have to foul. The B-Diggers have to take care of the basketball. 5.3 seconds to go. Brush 56. University 55. Gutierrez to throw it in. You don't want a baseball pass either. They're... They're going to be looking for that if you throw it all the way down court. Get it into the hands. Well, Enojos is not in there. He's not in there. Back court to Gonzalez. He's fouled. No, Enojos was in there. I didn't see him. He was hiding out. Of course, he should be in there. And he's a good free throw shooter. That's only the 16 foul. Mendoza commits his third. That's an advantage for the B Diggers. Another second off the clock. 4.1 to go. The next foul will send Brush to the line. Gutierrez looking, still looking. Gets it into Shelton. Bounce pass to Gutierrez. He fell with 2.2 to go. Oh, man, that makes it almost not impossible, but very difficult for University with 2.2 to go. That's the third personal foul line, Desmond Williams. Desmond Williams with his third. The Bay Diggers are looking to pull off the stunner down by eight in the fourth quarter. Aiden Gutierrez with a one and one has scored two points tonight. 56 55 brush. Spinning, bending, shooting, missing back rim. Rebound to Mendoza. Timeout. 1.9 seconds to go, but they've got to go nearly the length of the court. Well, that is a killer for Brush tonight. Their free throw shooting. It's been limited and atrocious. One out of six. University from the line tonight has not been great. But they haven't been terrible either. 11 of 17. 1.9 seconds to go. University will inbound it from the backcourt with the B-Diggers up 56-55. Can the Bee Diggers pull off a stunner here? When it looked like they had little life in the fourth quarter. Brush has trailed throughout the course of the second half, but now have the lead. The inbounds pass will be Cannon Padilla out there with Weber, Schmenke. Williams and Mendoza by himself in the left corner. Now Gutierrez will pick him up. They're standing on one side of the gym. Timeout for Brush. 30-second timeout called by head coach Wayne Bach. Wow. How intense is this? How crazy is this? Setting up his defense. Knowing this could turn around the season, you're two and four. You lost a tough one against Fort Morgan with a six point lead at the break. Last night, you're up by 10, and you lose that game to Fort Lupton. Here, you're taking on a team that is in the top 10 and a chance to pull it off. Again, expect Padilla to be the inbounds passer. The B Diggers can't foul either. 
No fouls. Let them put up about a 50-footer. Now they might throw it near the length of the court, just bat it away. Padilla to throw it in. They cannot run the baseline. Moriarty's right there. Padilla looking to throw a baseball pass. And that one is going to go through everybody out of bounds. The beat diggers will inbound it. It took one bounce and went out of bounds. Nobody touched it. University is going to have to foul again. And you just want to get the ball in if you're brush. All you want to do is get it in. You don't want University to inbound it anymore. Gutierrez to throw it in on the offensive end. That was a turnover. There's the inbounds to k Dog. He holds the ball and he's fouled with five tenths of a second to go. Five tenths of a second to go. One and one. Mendoza commits his fourth foul. University just committed their third turnover of the entire second half. It really doesn't matter too much if Kate, well, if you make both, that would help, but you got to make the first to earn the second. Free throw, K Dog is up, and that rattles in. It's a two point lead. Now, if you make the second, and a university throws up a miracle, and it goes in, then it goes into overtime, but it would take, man, it would be a miracle. 57 55 brush. Second free throw. He line drives it, rebound, and that's going to be it. That was a smart play by K-Dog. He threw it off of the front of the rim because by the time it was grabbed by Williams, he had no shot to get off a shot. And the B-Diggers pull off a stunner. We're going to see if we can go down to the floor. The B-Diggers win the game. 57 to 55. Let's see if we can uh, get a word in here with Wayne Bach. As Brush pulls off one heck of a victory here in Greeley. Let's see if. Uh, let's bring in Wayne Bach. Let's bring in the head coach of the B Diggers, Wayne Bach. Coach. Tell me how you pulled this thing off. I mean, you were so close last night. The final game of 2021 against Fort Morgan. You had the lead there. I don't think University was expecting Brush to come in here and pull this game off, especially when you trail by eight in the fourth, but your guys showed a lot of fight here. Yeah, our guys, they're resilient as heck. Um, I love these guys so much. They got no quit. And uh, we got we got a bad taste in our mouth. Because if you ask me, uh, you know, like you, you mentioned last night, you, you mentioned Fort Morgan. You could throw in Prospect Ridge. We just got tired of playing the same old game, same old story. So our old mentality tonight was was never quit and then uh, finish this thing off. So I'm happy for our guys that, that they got to experience this and do this because we got a good group and, and it just doesn't show it in our record right now. Was there a conversation then last night after the game about, hey, we're better than a 2-14? and 14? Yeah, yeah, we've been talking about it for a while. And honestly, we talked about it before the game, so it shows you how smart I am. But uh, it was... You know, I just, I can't talk good enough about our guys. Like, how many teams would come back from that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Eight in the fourth quarter and, and just no quit, just resilient. And, God, I'm just so happy for them. Does Sessat ever surprise you? It goes off unofficially 27 points and 23 rebounds. That's that's ridiculous at the high school level. <laughs> I'm happy he's on our team. <laughs> he, uh, and the thing is, like, he never gets tired. He never asks for a sub. And I think I said this last year, but when he does come off, he gives me a look like, why in the world would you ever take me out? And then I kind of look back, and I'm like, I'm not really sure. But he's a great kid. Uh, I, obviously, he's a very good basketball player, but he's even a better student, better kid. So. Finally, Coach, what about this Patriot League? It seems every year we're talking about this. I mean, I know you've only been at the helm here for a couple of years, but, uh, I mean, University is just one of those teams, Sterling, it just right. up and down the line. It's a great league. Yeah, it is, and you got to be ready to go every night. I mean, we got Liberty Common in in two nights, right. and they're playing well. They're playing. I don't know how they played tonight, but they're four and two, and they're much improved. And so you you don't have a night off in the Patriot League, and that's what's fun, but also tough. But yeah. man, it, every night it can be like this, and that, that's a good atmosphere. Hey, coach, congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for your coverage all year and getting our guys' names out there. Absolutely. That's Wayne Bach, the head coach of the Bee Diggers, following a big victory tonight as the Bee Diggers pull it off and they rally to win the game over the University Bulldogs. What a game. What a game. 
57-55 here in Greeley. Man, you know, this is what, part of what high school sports is all about, the enthusiasm and just, just the grit. I'm gonna get it back to the headset here. That. The uh, Bee Diggers show tonight as we're back on the main headset here, but I had to disconnect part of the equipment so we get that interview on the floor with the Bee Diggers winning this game tonight, 57-55. We'll go through the numbers here momentarily from University High School in Greeley. Wow. Well, I'm exhausted. I mean, that's just one basket, but it's a high school basketball game. It doesn't uh, last as long as a college or an NBA game, but... Man, did it feel like it as the Bee Diggers pulled it off. Tremendous defense tonight. And they defeat University 57-55. I'm going to do this. Let's take a short break. We'll take a short break and come back with the second half of the postgame show. The Bee Diggers snap a losing skid and defeat the University Bulldogs. 57-55 on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back at University High School in Greeley with the Bee Diggers trailing by eight points in the fourth quarter. They pull off the stunner and defeat the University Bulldogs by a score of 57-55. to And this team just with a obviously a ton of determination tonight. Bee Digger post game show brought to you by Stubbs Gas and Oil. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car. Stubbs Gas and Oil, easy and convenient. Make them the only stop you need on your way to the big game. Stubbs Gas and Oil. Cesar Hinojos led the way, 27 points and unofficially 23 rebounds. Nine points in the game for Braxton Shelton, including the game winning shot off the inbounds pass from Aiden Gutierrez with about 14 seconds to go. Six points in the game from Robert Gonzalez. Ivan Cardenas with five. Three apiece for Kyle Wellen, as well as Caden Castrop, and two for Caden Moriarty and Aiden Gutierrez. For the hometown Bulldogs, 19 from Andrew Mendoza, but only five in the second half. 16 points from Desmond Williams. Seven in the game from Cannon Padilla. Six from Greg, uh, Gage Schminke. Connor Weber had five and two for Arthur Zimmer. The Bee Diggers with a 37-27 rebound advantage. We mentioned Enojos' 23 boards. Desmond Williams had seven for University. The Bee Diggers did commit in the game 19 turnovers, only eight for University, 11 of 17 from the line for University. The Bee Diggers, two out of eight. With those statistical disadvantages, Brush still won the game because of their rebounding and because they would not stop. They would not quit. They would not really allow themselves to be out of this game whatsoever. With the loss, University drops to 8-2, and two, and the Bee Diggers move to 3-4. and four. As Coach Bach mentioned, they're back in action coming up on Thursday night when they take on Liberty Common. But we've got wrestling coming up this week. Tomorrow night, the Morgan County Triple Duel at 5.30. That'll be the Bee Diggers in Fort Morgan against the Mustangs and the Wiggins Tigers. And then brush wrestling coming up on Thursday night in Kersey against the Platte Valley Broncos. Rob Hastings will describe all of the action from those two locations. The final score once again tonight from Greeley. The Bee Diggers defeat the top 10 ranked University Bulldogs 57 to 55. I'm John Beltran on 1010 KSIR, KSIR.com, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.